Hello students welcome to the maths class today in this video i am going to explain a new chapter chapter number 7 continuity and differentiability of functions continuity and differentiability of functions in this chapter you are going to study continuity continuity at a point continuity at an interval but today in this video i will explain two points continuity continuity at a point continuity at an interval and differentiability in other videos i will explain so to understand what is continuity and what is continuity at a point you need to see some graphs through graphs you will understand what are continuous functions so you see here you can see it is written intuitively if we look the discontinuity of real function as a function with gaps and jumps means suppose the given function is discontinuous so in the graph of that function there will be gap and jump if in the graph gap or jump is there it means that that function is discontinuous function you can see this graph properly you try to understand this topic you can see in this graph here gap is written and one hollow circle you can see i have circled that circle hollow circle so this is the gap so this is showing discontinuity of the function one graph they are giving and in this graph one gap they are showing and how they are showing gap with the help of a hollow circle so this hollow circle is showing gap this is showing graph is this function is discontinuous at this point at which this gap is there so that's why given function is discontinuous function now here you can see this jump is written after this dark circle after this dark dot this hollow dot is here you can see i am marking with my pencil i am marking here after this dark dot this hollow dot is here so this gap is a jump here this function is taking jump at this point it is defining but at this point it is not defining and this full is a jump so here they are saying that's why that is a function y equals fx may be taken as continuous at a point if graph of the function is continuous unbroken or on both sides of the point and close to it including the point itself means a given function is said to be continuous if it is unbroken on both the sides at a point of a point and close to it including the point itself means if you are making the graph of a function and if you want to check the given function is continuous at a given point so and if you are making the graph so if graph is without gap or jump you are able to make the graph without a without gap or jump so that function will be continuous function at that point so that's why they are saying graph should be unbroken on both sides of the point on both the sides of the point graph should be unbroken and and at the point itself it should be unbroken so then it will be continuous function now you can see some examples they are giving some examples study the following graph of functions graph of y equals 4x is continuous at every point you can see this graph i have circled here this graph y equals 4x when you make the graph of y equals 4x so no value of x exist in the domain of real number for which 
दिस वाई यू कैन नॉट फाइंड फॉर एवरी वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वैल्यू ऑफ वाई कैन बी फाउंड सो वेन यू मेक द ग्रेफ ऑफ दिस फंक्शन यू कैन सी दिस एरो इज देयर इट विल कम अ स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड एट एवरी पॉइंट इट विल बी डिफाइंड एट एवरी पॉइंट इट विल बी डिफाइंड वेन इट इज डिफाइंड एट एवरी पॉइंट इट मीन्स दैट देयर विल नॉट बी एनी गैप और जम्प in its graph so this function is continuous at every point so that's why they are saying this function y equals 4x is continuous at every point because its graph you can see there is no gap or no jump in the graph now second you can see <clears throat> if y equals fx equals 3 for x is greater than 0 and equals 1 for x is less than or equal to 0 so x belongs to real number you can see here x belongs to real number when x is greater than 0 value of y is 3 x is greater than 0 means if x is 0.1 x is 0.2 x is 0.3 x is 1 x is 2 x is 3 then for every value of x greater than 0 value of y is 3 so you can see the graph here this is the graph for every value of x greater than 0 so on the right side of x axis these values will lie greater than 0 i am marking here you can see so at 1 at suppose 1 so value of y is here it is 3 at 2 value of y is 3 you can see at 1.5 value of y is 3 at 0 At zero, you can see it is not three. It is a gap here. It is a gap. You one more time, I am telling to you. At suppose zero, you are taking so at two value of y gap is there. At one three is there. You can see at two three is there. At one point five and in the middle middle uh, middle values value of y is three means one point five. 1.6 for every value of x greater than 0 the value of y is 3 you can see here now for every value of x less than or equal to 0 value of y is 1 you can see at x equal 0 value of y is 1 you can see here at x equal 0 it was not 3 at 3 gap was there i told you just before but at 1 it is the value so at x equal 0 value of y is 1 at x equal 0 value of y is 1 and less than 1 suppose minus at x equals minus 1 value of y is 1 at x equals minus 2 value of y is 1 you can see so for every value of x less than or equal to 0 value of y is 1 but at x equals 0 there is a jump you can see at x equal 0 there is a jump so that's why this function is not continuous function at x equal 0 so this is the continuity at a point this is the continuity at a point so what is continu uh, continuity if function is continuous at every point then you can say given function is continuous you can see as example number first y equals 4x this function is continuous at every point at every value of x so we can say this is the continuity and this is the continuity of function if a function is continuous at a particular point so you can say continuity at a point you can say that thing is continuity at a point so this function is not continuous at x equal 0 because at x equal 0 there is a jump now third graph you can see in third graph function y equals x square minus 3x plus 2 upon x minus 2 is given you are factorizing and you are writing x minus 1 but this x minus 1 when x is not equal to 2 because x minus 2 is cancelled with x minus 2 when x is not equal to 2 if x equals 2 then they cannot be cancelled 
जीरो कैन नॉट बी कैंसल्ड विद जीरो यू नो वेरी वेल इफ एक्स इक्वल्स टू सो इन डिनोमिनेटर एक्स माइनस टू विल बिकम टू माइनस टू जीरो एंड इन न्यूमिनेटर ऑल्सो टू माइनस टू जीरो एंड जीरो जीरो अपॉन जीरो यू कैन नॉट कट सो वेन एक्स एक्स इज नॉट इक्वल टू टू देन एक्स माइनस टू इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो यू नो वेरी वेल वन मोर टाइम आई एम टेलिंग टू यू इफ एक्स इज नॉट इक्वल टू टू सो एक्स माइनस टू इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो सो इन दैट केस एक्स माइनस टू कैन बी कैंसल्ड विद एक्स माइनस टू एंड इट विल रिमेन एक्स माइनस वन दिस इज द फाइनल आंसर दिस इज द सिंप्लीफिकेशन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन दिस फंक्शन सो यू सी द ग्रेफ ऑफ दिस फंक्शन इफ वी आर नॉट टेकिंग this x minus 1 we are taking this function and we are making the graph so you can see at x equals 2 gap is there because this function is not defined at x equals 2 already i told you x minus 1 you are taking when x is not equal to 2 when x is equal to 2 so 0 upon 0 form you will get 0 upon 0 form and in class 11th you have studied 0 upon 0 is an indeterminate form so at x equals 2 there is a gap so that's why this function is not continuous at x equals 2 now you see next graph its question is here you can see the graph of function fx equals minus 1 for x is less than or equal to minus 1 for x is when x lies between minus 1 and 1 it is x and when x is greater than or equal to 1 then it is 1 you see the graph in the graph i will tell you you can see from 0 to 1 you see the value From at zero it is zero value of y zero at x equal zero value of y is zero. If you move to the right of zero, suppose point five. So at x equals point five, value of y is also point five because it is given y equals x when x lies between minus one and one. You know very well. It is given in the question. so from 0 to 1 suppose value of x is 0.1 so value of y will be 0.1 so that's why you can see this is the graph is like this this slant line is there and when x is greater than 1 or equal to 1 so value of y is 1 always so at x equals 1 it is 1 at x x equals 2 value of y is 1 at x equals 3 value of y is 1 and when x is less than or equal to minus 1 its value is minus 1 so at x equals minus 1 value of y is minus 1 you can see again i am showing you at x equals 1 it is minus 1 at x equals minus 2 it is minus 1 at x equals minus 3 it is minus 1 so you can see this graph is totally continuous graph at every point so that's why they are saying you can see is continuous everywhere this is continuous everywhere in its domain one more graph you see y fx equals x x belongs to real number and x is not equal to 1 when x is not equal to 1 it means that at x equals 1 y will not exist because there is a gap at x equals 1 so it is discontinuous at x equals 1 here you can see in this graph sixth graph function fx equals 1 if x is greater than or equal to 0 and function is equal to x square if x is less than 0 you see the graph try to understand when x is equal to 0 so at x is equal to 0 value of y is 1 when x is greater than 0 greater than 0 it may be 1 2 3 so at x equals 1 value of y is 1 at x equals 2 value of y is 1 at x equals 3 value of y is 1 so you can see at 
इन एवरी केस वेन एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू जीरो वैल्यू ऑफ वाई इज वन दिस स्ट्रेट लाइन स्ट्रेट ऑरिजोंटल लाइन इज शोइंग नाउ सेकेंड थिंग इट इज गिवन वेन एक्स इज लेस देन जीरो लेस देन जीरो मीन्स माइनस वन माइनस टू माइनस थ्री सो वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज वैल्यू ऑफ वाई इज एक्स स्क्वायर सो वेन एक्स इज माइनस वन सो इट्स स्क्वायर विल बी वन सो एट माइनस वन यू कैन सी हियर वैल्यू ऑफ वाई वन एट माइनस टू सो माइनस टू स्क्वायर प्लस फोर सो एट माइनस टू हियर यू कैन टेक माइनस टू एंड इट्स वैल्यू हियर इट विल कम प्लस फोर हियर फोर यू कैन सी सो बट एट एक्स इक्वल जीरो हियर इन दिस केस एट एक्स इक्वल जीरो देर इज अ गैप एट एक्स इक्वल जीरो वैल्यू ऑफ फंक्शन इज वन इन फर्स्ट केस एंड हियर वैल्यू ऑफ फंक्शन इज नॉट डिफाइंड मीन्स एट एक्स इक्वल जीरो इन सेकेंड केस सो दिस जंप इज देयर दिस जंप यू कैन सी एट एक्स इक्वल जीरो दिस जंप इज देयर सो मिडल वैल्यूज ऑफ वाई आर नॉट देयर ऑफ एनी फॉर एनी वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स so there is a jump at x equal जीरो so you can say the function is discontinuous at x equals जीरो you can see here the function is discontinuous at x equals जीरो we may observe that the function is continuous now you can see here some more thing this is not of use you can see here there are four graphs continuity here four graphs are given thus a function is continuous at x equal say if graph around the point a comma f is connected and unbroken so when it will be continuous when around this point it is connected and unbroken you can see four graphs here now in this graph gap is there so that's why it is discontinuous here jump is there that's why it is discontinuous here you can see fa does not exist so that's why it is discontinuous here gap is there it is discontinuous now from the above four graphs it is observed any of the following condition may prevent a function from being continuous at x equals a so four graphs are there if fa is not defined so you can see four graphs when f is not defined in this case f is defined in first graph you can see at x equal say f is there dot is there dark dot is there so it means that f is defined in second case also f is defined dark dot is there f is defined now in third case f is not there at x equal say f is not there so f is not defined in third graph in fourth graph fa is not there you can see when fa is not there so it means that fa is not defined second thing so it means that fa is not defined then it will be discontinuous if limit does not exist at x equals a at if at x equals a limit exist fa defined then you can say given function is continuous so limiting value equals functional value so when question will come then you have to show uh, for the given function limiting value equals functional value at the given point so you can say that function is continuous if limiting value exist at x equals a but not equal to fa then also it will not be continuous so three condition they are giving again i am telling to you fa is not defined means at x equals a f a is not defined so function will be discontinuous second thing limit does not exist f a is defined but limit is not existing existing limit x tends to a f x it does not exist so it means that function is discontinuous third limit is also existing functional value is also coming but they are not equal 
एफ ए इज नॉट इक्वल टू लिमिटिंग वैल्यू ऑफ एफ एक्स एट एक्स इक्वल्स ए सो वेन दे आर नॉट इक्वल देन फंक्शन इज नॉट कंटिन्यूस सो यू कैन सी दे आर शोइंग द टेबल फॉर फर्स्ट ग्रेफ एफ ए इज डिफाइंड आई टोल्ड यू लिमिटिंग वैल्यू इज एग्जिस्टिंग येस बट लिमिटिंग वैल्यू इज नॉट इक्वल टू फंक्शन वैल्यू यू कैन सी एफ ए इज डिफाइंड ए एफ एट इज रिटर्न डार्क डॉट इज देयर लिमिटिंग वैल्यू हाउ कैन यू से लिमिटिंग वैल्यू बिकॉज एट एक्स इक्वल्स ए दिस गैप इज देयर बट बिफोर दिस गैप ग्रैफ इज कंटिन्यूस आफ्टर दिस ग्रैफ आफ्टर दिस गैप ग्रैफ इज कंटिन्यूस इट मीन्स दैट लिमिट एग्जिस्ट लिमिट एग्जिस्ट बट दे आर नॉट इक्वल बिकॉज देयर इज अ जम्प because there is a jump so that's why they are not equal limiting value and functional value they are not equal so limit exist why limit exist because before the gap and after the gap graph is continuous so limit exist and functional value dark dot is there it is also uh, defined function is defined at x equal to but due to this jump they are not equal so it means that graph is not continuous so you can see in the table एफ ए डिफाइंड लिमिट एग्जिस्ट बट दे आर नॉट इक्वल सो दैट्स वाई इट इज नॉट कंटिन्यूस इन सेकेंड ग्रैफ एफ ए डिफाइंड लिमिट इज नॉट एग्जिस्टिंग एंड दे आर नॉट ऑल्सो इक्वल यू कैन सी हियर एफ ए डिफाइंड डार्क डॉट इज देयर एफ ए डिफाइंड लिमिट इज नॉट एग्जिस्टिंग बिकॉज ऑन द राइट साइड ऑफ दिस गैप फंक्शन इज कंटिन्यूस बट ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड देर इज अ जम्प function is not continuous you can see on the left side function is not continuous this jump is there this jump so that's why here functional value is defined f a is defined but limit does not exist and they are not equal also next third graph nothing is there means functional value एफ ए इज नॉट देयर डार्क डॉट इज नॉट देयर इन द ग्रैफ यू कैन सी वन मोर थिंग लिमिट इज नॉट एग्जिस्टिंग यू कैन सी दिस लाइन एंड दिस लाइन सो देयर इज नॉट गैप एंड बिफोर द गैप एंड आफ्टर द गैप कंटिन्यूटी शुड बी देयर दैट इज नॉट देयर इन दिस ग्रैफ गैप इज नॉट देयर एंड बिफोर द गैप एंड आफ्टर द गैप कंटिन्यूटी इज नॉट देयर सो लिमिट इज नॉट एग्जिस्टिंग and they are not equal also here you can see limit is existing but functional value is not there and they are not equal you can see here limit is existing just before i told you before the gap and after the gap graph is continuous so limit is existing functional value is not there because dark dot you cannot see here afa this point afa you cannot see so when this point is not there it means that fa is not defined and third thing they are not equal when fa is not defined then how can they be equal limiting value and functional value so that's why graph is not continuous so now question comes what should be for the continuity of a function just before i have told you but one more time i'm telling to you if a function is given then you have to show and suppose point x equals a is given function fx is given fx equals uh, it may be x square it may be some other function so at x equals a suppose you want to show this fx is continuous so you have to show fa is defined first thing fa defined whatever value comes that is not the matter second thing limit x tends to a fx exist it should exist limit x tends to a fx exists third thing they should be equal means f a equals limit x tends to a fx they should be equal if these three things satisfy so you can say your 
given function is continuous function so today in this video i am taking these points means i explained what is continuity at a point what is continuity and what is continuity at a point through graphs so questions from the exercise in next video i will tell so that you can understand till then you can understand you can listen this video you can try to understand the graphs which i told you and uh, through the graphs you can see continuity and discontinuity in next video i will take some questions of exercise so this concept will be clear through some questions so thank you and have a nice day